Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel Hattie Homemaking where I make videos on homemaking, cleaning and lifestyle so if you're into any of those topics then please do subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I upload on Thursdays and Sundays at 4pm GMT time. So today's video is going to be a huge home and bargains haul including Christmas things which I'm very excited about, some autumn things and just a few different and things so it's October now well it's the end of October it's basically November <laughs> so I wanted to get an array of both autumn and also start getting some Christmas things in especially some Christmas cleaning bits because I'm super super excited to start making the house feel really festive I feel like whenever the weather drops and it goes really cold the only way I can pick up my mood and make me happy is if I fully embrace each season so i do struggle with sad which is lower mood in the darker months so that is one way i increase my mood <laughs> and boost those happy hormones so i'm going to get straight on into this haul i'm going to split it up into sections like i did with my last home bargains haul so we have a couple of bits and bobs a couple of homey things we have some self-care things we have cleaning bits and we have some food so I'm going to get started with my exciting bits and bobs that I picked up so the first thing I picked up was this gorgeous loungewear set so it's like a pink cardigan which it originally drew my attention to it because I would wear this cardigan out <laughs> like I love it it's so so soft so it comes with a little pair of shorts and it was £14 I got it in a size 10 to 12 I do like my loungewear to be a bit oversized especially with shorts I hate it when shorts are like just really really revealing even though it's just me in my house I just feel really self-conscious is anyone else like that like I'm a proper prude so these were 14 pounds they're super soft in this baby pink color highly recommend checking out the pajama and clothes section in home bargains sometimes it's rubbish but other times I mean I feel like you would see this in I don't know fashionable shops <laughs> But I'm really excited to wear this. I'm going to wear it tonight and it just honestly, I wish sometimes you could just reach your hand through the screen and feel things because you would be impressed. Sticking with the soft snuggly vibes, I bought another duvet set. So this is a fleece a fleece a fleece teddy duvet set so i like to wear the to wear this to put this on my bed sheets in the colder months and it is so unbelievably cozy and honestly the only struggle with it is you do not want to get out of bed in the morning so i bought this duvet set i originally got some fleece duvet sets from i think it was b m a couple of years ago and they have stayed in great condition they're still really soft and they are our favorite to this day so this was 17 pounds which i think is a great bargain because it will be used constantly in the winter months and it will be lovely just to snuggle in that in the evening so now i'm just going to move on to a couple of homey and sort of like miscellaneous miscellaneous <laughs> um things so the first thing i wanted to say is i bought paul the first husband birthday card if you don't know we got married in september and it's his birthday soon so it's the first card i've got to buy with him with husband on so i wasn't expecting it to get one from home bargains i was going to go to the card shop next door to home bargains but they had this and it was perfect it says husband on it it was only 60p paul does not need to know that the next thing i got is a little present for murphy so it's just a a little gingerbread man it was only 99p and I just like to get him little festive toys just because it's so cute one year he had this like little pudding that was like a little ball it was so cute he used to carry it around everywhere so I thought I'd get him a little gingerbread man then I got a couple of candles so I got this gorgeous festive Christmas one in the scent blackberry forest I didn't actually smell it because I had a mask on. Whoa, that actually smells so nice. I just bought it for how it looks. I just think it looks so Christmassy and that's one of my favourite Christmas patterns. It's just a very traditional um, red pattern. So I decided to get that. Then on the Christmas candle theme again, I got this white one with sort of silver shimmery glitter. Let me see if I can focus it for you. It's really hard to focus I think because the light is reflecting off it but I just think this would look really nice on like a little candle stand as a Christmas decoration. 
And then the final candle I got was a Halloween autumn themed one. So I got the pumpkin chai. So I bought one of these candles in my last home bargains haul and I actually used it all. And I think the mistake I was making was buying those really big ones. And I don't know, I find the scent goes after the first couple of burns. So I like to get the smaller ones, use it up and then get a fresh one. So that is definitely a little tip for you if you're into candles. Also, it means you can get different scent sooner as well you don't have to burn the same scent if you're like me and you get bored easily so now i'm going to move on to a couple of self-care bits so these are the shampoo and conditioners i've been using recently it's just the herbal essences hello hydration and i find a lot of times i get overwhelmed with shampoo and conditioners there's so many out there and i feel like all the ones that get recommended on social media they're just too expensive to be buying all the time and it makes me not want to wash my hair that much so i bought these these. they're only two pound each and I've gone through a bottle each of them before and they do make my hair really soft and shiny and they smell amazing as well and they're affordable I know some people might say the ingredients aren't the best I don't really understand hair ingredients but I got into it and I started learning about it there's loads of like videos on TikTok and then I just got overwhelmed and thought no I'm just going back to my simple herbal essences and then the next self-care bits I got was just some bath cream in the Relax scent. So I just got two big ones of that. And then super boringly, I got a toothpaste. Just bought the Advanced White Colgate Toothpaste. Like I mentioned in my other home bargains haul, I'm not fussy with toothpaste. I just buy whatever is on offer. Okay, so now I'm moving on to my cleaning bit. So I went a little bit crazy in the cleaning section. I do love cleaning. If you watch my channel a lot, you know I do a lot of cleaning in my home and I'm not the most perfect non-toxic cleaner. I do like scents that smell quite strong. I try to be mindful here and there, but I have to be honest, it's just... It's just one of those things. I just like my cleaning products. So I'm going to show you what I got. So I'll start with the most boring thing was just load of sponges. I feel like you have to pick up a pack of these whenever you go into home bargains or B&M. The next thing I got, which is new for me, I've not tried these before, is the Astonish Toilet Bowl Fizz and Fresh Deep Cleaning Foam Action. And it's pink, peony, fresh. So it looks like you just put a tablet in and it like fizzes away so I'm excited to try that. I will wait to try it in my next cleaning video so you can all witness the fun with me. So staying on the toilet theme I got the Pink Stuff Toilet Cleaner so as many of you will know I am obsessed with the Pink Stuff but I've not actually tried the toilet cleaner before so I thought I would give that a try and then of course I picked up another Pink Stuff um, surface spray just because it smells amazing and I love it so I bought another one of them. I also bought a fairy liquid because we'd run out but not just any fairy liquid people this is not boring. <laughs> I bought the Christmas version so I don't know what makes it Christmassy let me smell it. No it literally just smells exactly like normal fairy liquid. <laughs> Paul always says that marketers would love me because I'm just a sucker for packaging and marketing. I just love it. So yes, I got a wishing you a fairy Christmas. Oh, it does say on it original. Okay, that was a bit stupid of me. I literally just bought it because it said Christmas on it and expected it to smell of Christmas. <laughs> The next thing I got was a double pack of this fairy non-bio gel. So this is what I clean all my clothes, towels, bed sheets, everything with. I just, I really like it. It's so easy. And yeah, I've just always pretty much used this. So I got a big double pack of that. And then I thought I would try a new softener. So this is a tiny little mini version of it. It's ultra contran... Con concentrated there we go got there in the end and it's the Lenore Outdoorable so I do struggle in winter time to dry my clothes inside and get them to smell really good so I rely on my tumble dryer for a lot but I do have a heated area as well but it just sometimes if it doesn't work quickly and the fabric is quite thick it does go a little bit musky so I thought I would try this softener just to see if it would make any difference I will report back in a couple of videos time to let you know how I'm getting on with this so I'm going to move on to some Christmassy bits now so I got some Zaflora in Christmas scent so this is fur needle and amber scent and then I got another one in cranberry and orange so I'm looking forward I bought a couple of Christmassy cleaning products I'm not going to 
July because I want to do a cleaning video soon that's going to be with loads of like Christmas cleaning things because that's what I see other creators do so I thought I'd copy. <laughs> so that was half the reason for some of these purchases but I will definitely, I always use the flora down my sink and I also mix it with water as well and use it as a surface spray and then I also got this room spray in the scent spiced apple and cinnamon. I might just spray it now. Oh, oh yeah, it smells delicious. Yeah, so I got that. This is just the Glade Spiced Apple and Cinnamon Limited Edition one. Oh, that smells so nice actually. Like gets better as it infiltrates the air. <laughs> the next thing I got is some Dettol wipes. So I just use these on my toilet. I do try to avoid using wipes just because there was a whole thing done on this morning where they were talking about how bad wipes are for the environment. So ever since that, I only ever use wipes on my toilet now. Or if there's like one particular thing that is just like would be unhygienic to clean with anything else. But I only very rarely buy a pack of these and I try to be very good and just do my toilet. <laughs> the next thing I got is some packs of marigolds. I just like to do my washing up and sometimes cleaning my toilet with them. I'm not that funny, you know, about cleaning my toilet. Some people have to wear gloves, but I don't know. I just think as long as I wash my hands at the end, maybe I'm just very unhygienic person, who knows? <laughs> Leave in the comments, I'm actually interested to know if you use gloves for cleaning your toilet or if it doesn't bother you. I wanna know I'm not alone. <laughs> So the next thing I got is some of these Lenore Unstoppables. So I'm normally very frugal when it comes to things like this. I just find them so expensive and they go so quickly. And I just think if I can't afford to use it in every wash, it will just stress me out picking what washes to use them in, if it makes sense. But I picked up a Lenore fabric spray in the Scent Gold Orchid in my last home bargains haul. And the smell is so nice. So I seen the Lenore Unstoppables in that scent and I just couldn't leave it. <laughs> so I treated myself to that and I'm just gonna wash like things that will really cling to the scent. So things like jumpers, I will wash using that. But I don't wanna use them in every wash because who can afford to do that really? The next thing I got is this Nutridol carpet deodorizer. I just got that because obviously we have a little pup and they, I don't like saying Murphy creates smells because he doesn't. We probably create more smells than Murphy. He's a very clean and hygienic hygienic puppy but I just wanted to get this anyway just to see if it made any difference and just because I love trying out new cleaning products and that is one thing I've not done yet and then finally for the cleaning section I got a Febreze, Febreze bathroom freshener in the scent spiced apple so I've had these before and I love them but I've not seen one in a Christmas scent before so I decided to buy that and they smell so strong and I find they really do freshen up your bathroom every time you walk past them they just smell super super fresh it says it lasts up to 45 days I've had mine in there I feel like longer and I still smell it sometimes so I'm gonna go and whack that in my bathroom after this video okay so now I'm gonna move on to the food section so the first thing I bought is these space raiders I've already had a packet out of them I actually bought two packets because I have been recently exposed <laughs> to these crisps I've recently found them and they're so nice so I bought two packets of them they were just 99p each and you get a pack of six and then on the same line I got some skips six packets and I'm pretty sure they were a pound as well the next thing I got I'm not gonna lie it's the majority of the reason I go to home bargains is for coca noodles if you've not tried coca noodles before you seriously need to get on it they are so nice so my favorite flavor is the stir fried flavor they are so spicy but so good um but they always sell out because everyone loves them so today I couldn't get those ones I could only get the curry ones which were my second favorite so yeah they're only like 30p and they just make such a lovely quick lunch I like mixing them with eggs or tuna to have a little bit of protein but if you want a really cheap lunch that tastes amazing 
highly recommend coca noodles. So along the same line, I also bought some of these naked pot noodles. So I got three of these, here's my other one. And again, they're just a really easy lunch. So I've started going out um, to work for two days a week and then I'm in the house for the rest. So these are just really nice for, you know, those evenings where you think I haven't got anything for lunch tomorrow and it stresses you out. It's really nice just to have them in the cupboard just so you can bring them and they're really easy and you just add hot water and there's no fuss so I got three of them plus they taste delicious there's loads of different flavors they do rice ones as well that are really nice but my favorite are the sweet chili noodles so if you watch my channel a lot you will know I'm a huge fan of tea so I just got a big thing of Yorkshire tea bags this was I think you get 210 and they were five pound so yeah uh british essential there the next thing i got is some of this spicy mexican rice so this is lovely if you are making anything mexican related like nachos or burritos or anything it's nice just to throw in there but sometimes i do like just eating these on their own as well sometimes um i did actually eat just one of these for lunch the other day when i was in a rush and they're really nice especially if you get Perinase. Um, so Perinase is from Nando's, but you can buy the sauce. So it's really nice with things like that and maybe a bit of chicken and things. Delish. The next thing I got is these chili coated peanuts. So I get these around Christmas time every year and I love them. They're so nice. So they're like a peanut in the middle and then like a crisp, like a sweet chili crisp surrounding it so so nice honestly the most unhealthy thing ever but so nice so i just got a pack of them next thing i got is just two things of pasta and sauce the cheese and broccoli one so loads of people rave about these i have tried it when it's in like the pot where you add water and i liked it i wasn't mad about it but everyone says that these packages are just easy so can you tell i was in the mood of just getting easy lunches because there have been a couple of days this week where I have not had the best lunch or I've just had crisps and chocolate so <laughs> I wanted to get something that at least resembles a meal I know they're not the healthiest but it's nice just to have in the house the next thing I got is just a pack of tuna and then I also got this home pride creamy tomato and herb sauce that I'm going to make a pasta bake with soon and finally get into the fun sweeties so first of all I got a bar of galaxy I also got some of these munchies cookie dough flavor I've never tried these before but I seen them and I thought they are well up my street <laughs> I also got some twirls I love a good twirl and then finally I got this variety pack of chocolates just it's nice to have chocolates in I have a very sweet tooth I could eat so much chocolate and sweets I really once I start I really have to stop myself otherwise we would be there all day with me just eating chocolate so that is the end of everything I bought from home bargains today I really hope you have enjoyed this haul please don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in any homemaking cleaning lifestyle and I am going to be doing home bargains hauls regularly as well so if you're interested in just that then also subscribe because there will be more videos coming like this so I really hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one